Okay, so you've installed the theme, now what are the first things you need to do? Drupal 6, so we go to administer, and notice up here we've got question mark Q equals admin. This is considered very bad form, so we go here and we look for clean URLs. You see it? Go there and we turn that on so we can get rid of that strange path. And now we can use real words in the URLs. So that's step one. Now, let's see what else is going on here in the admin area. What else do we have to look at? Let's check out our status report. Mm -hmm. We've just installed the latest theme, so that's all right. Haven't run the cron. So we won't configure it yet. We'll just run it. Ah, lucky. Now we've got a bunch of green arrows. We haven't turned on the update notifications yet. Our Apache 2 is all right. The next thing would be modules, probably. So let's go to modules, but not install any yet. Modules are in site building. Notice that's admin build modules. Admin build modules. Now let's see what we've got. So what do we want to turn on? This is a kid's site in a school. We want the kids to be able to blog. Okay? They don't need to upload them. Uh, we won't use books yet. The teacher can use that later. We'll enable contact. Won't enable translation yet. Forums, not yet. Although, well, let's do that because they might be useful. Forums conflict with the basic idea of the blog. The blog has kind of replaced forums, don't you think? Locales along with translation. We need a menu. We won't allow open ID. We will allow path because that's just good for SEO and everything else. Uh, we don't need these things yet. We don't need pull. Eventually we'll need profile. We'll want search. We'll want statistics for the teacher. We want to know what's going on so we'll log it. We'll definitely want taxonomy. We won't use throttle yet. We won't use these yet. No, no, no. Should we turn that on? Why not? Upload files, of course. Now look what's in core. Yep, yep, yep. Blog, filter, node, system, user. Okay. Save the configuration. Now the next thing you want to do is go to permissions. You can find it right here. Admin user permissions. So we've got anonymous and authenticated right now. And we don't need teacher and student yet. So we, we'll make them later using roles. And that's under configuration and users. But first of all, we want the, the admin user doesn't need any of these, so the super user is not who you should have in mind. This is for other users, like managers, anonymous. Now the first thing you want to do is search for content. Bum, bum, bum. Access content. Okay. Enabled by default. Okay, that's good. Now what about contact? Ah, now you want an anonymous and logged in users to be able to contact you. You don't want them to be able to administer. Forums are irrelevant right now. Now you want logged in users to be able to
create blocks, delete own blocks, edit own block, access content comments, post comments without approval, why not? For now. No. Pages are up to you, stories are up to you. Revisions, no. View revisions, why not? This is a tricky one, but perhaps important, perhaps not important, perhaps too much for students, we'll see. Why not? Why not? But no. Why not? Yes, yes, maybe, probably not. Yes, no. And I'd say that's it.